good morning welcome back to the mountain guys if you've seen the last video we finished the paint on the tiny house but mike and lissa came up the hill today this will be lissa's first time seeing it since i think before the drywall was even completely hung so it's been a minute so we're going to get some first reactions they came up here to reinstall the lights that mike installed earlier I figure there ain't no point in me uh, jumping on the electric in the ninth and inning, you know, go and let this guy go ahead and knock it out. That way, if it burns down, I know exactly who to blame. Come on. <laughs> Are you ready, guys? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's it going to look like, Lisa? Amazing, I'm sure. Amazing? Yeah. Hey, my niece got confidence in me. <laughs> this guy didn't. <laughs> He didn't think I'd finish painting last I, night. I, did, I didn't think you were going to finish. Uh, well, I thought you would finish a little sooner. Yeah. But I, I didn't think you were going to be up so late at like 3, 4 in the morning to have to finish editing turn around. But I tell you what, if it burns down, it's because he didn't let me put the jun junction boxes in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> that is not true. All right, guys. Let's get some reaction. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, snap. <laughs> Very nice. Dang. <sighs> the lighting sucks in here guys that's what they're here for <laughs> hey, look at that we got it 66 degrees in here where's the seams what seams <laughs> come on <laughs> <laughs> what seams yeah. huh? yeah. it almost looks like you knew how to do drywall now huh Man, i told you guys just give me some patience <laughs> looks real good what in yeah, the world big difference what huh? is this uh, Holy smokes. I've got about four hats like that. At this I didn't point. even know you had any white hats. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It turned out good though. Man. This is what I'm super impressed with this back seam right here. Yeah, because that, that was, was about two inches. That was the Grand Canyon of all seams. <laughs> that and mainly by the door over there where it was very low and I had yeah. to float. Where you, yeah, you yeah. get that one right here? No, right there. That one right there, oh, that hole, side. because where we cut the shape, the trusses, it dipped real hard right there. And there was right. a ton of filling that I had to do. There's a couple of imperfections here or there, but nothing major. I mean, this is a, a pump house. That's fair. It is the sexiest pump house on YouTube though, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, these guys are gonna put some lights in. Um, I'll probably be running my camera so y'all can see that and then I will show it to y'all whenever it's lit up with its actual Natural lighting that's gonna light this place and see what it looks like Let's get it All right guys, now that we got the lights installed and working, it changes the whole feel inside this tiny house. I'm gonna turn on all the lights and go ahead and show y'all what it looks like. I do not like the yellow light in here. I will be changing that out with a cool white light, similar to these. But it makes the walls look a lot better. It brightens up the space a ton. See the difference between light here and the yellow i don't like it but in here looks amazing which is key for what we're going to be doing tonight uh, i've been working day shift and night shift out here on the tiny house pushing to try to get this thing done and the next step that i need to do requires dry time i already have some of the boards right here burnt from when i did the rabbit hutch 
but I got about 12 more that I need to burn. After I get them all burned, I want to put a clear polyurethane over all of them before I install them in here. So that polyurethane is going to need to dry overnight so I can actually handle it and start cutting and working with it. So tonight we're going to clean out the tiny house, get the mop bucket out and start scrubbing this floor because it took a beating guys. Hopefully I can be able to save it. If I can't save it, I do have the paint and the paint flakes to be able to put another coat on. Hopefully I don't have to do that, but tonight would be the night to do it while I'm waiting on the polyurethane to dry. If I do need to paint, then this floor could dry too. And then I can get out here tomorrow and start putting up the trim. Uh, tomorrow's my last day I can work on the tiny house for a while because we're gonna be taking down the new tiny house down the road starting on Wednesday. So, Let's go ahead and get the rest of the boards out, shook out, and go ahead and get them burned. That way we can do some polyurethane. All right, guys, got it all set up and we're ready to burn the wood. I still got to hook the hose up, but this right here is what all we're working on. I've already got one that I did with the rabbit hutch sitting here beside it, just as a guide of reference. So we're gonna get this hooked up and go ahead and start burning. I'm gonna save a few because later on tonight, I'm gonna do something I haven't done before. I'm gonna go live and work with you guys on the live. And this is one of the projects that I wanna show. I'm probably gonna save about one or two boards and we're gonna take it from the beginning right here all the way to finished product and ready to go into the tiny house. Let me show you the reason why we are doing what we're doing here. I got a little mock-up on the inside. It's not cut to fit or anything like that. But just so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Let me set you down because it's going to take both hands and then something. Come on. Basically, we're going to have one piece going up against right here. Like so. And this piece right here it's going to go here but i'm actually going to rip that in half and half of it will go on one wall and half of it will go on that wall and it'll kind of wrap it but i think that this is going to give it a real real nice look and bring the burnt look from outside to inside because that i had to go with drywall and i was going to go with more of a rustic type fill in here i think this right here fits the rustic modern pretty well what do you think All right, guys, as you can see, I am actually live right now on, on this channel right here. We're gonna be filming, going live and working all at the same time. And we're gonna bring y'all along and bring everybody live along. You don't wanna miss it. Let's go.
grilling addiction with Nick. What's going on? What's buddy? going on, buddy? Yeah, it's magic. <laughs> this is the magic right here, guys. This also doesn't take much polyurethane. Billy Parsons said it's gorgeous. Can't wait to see it into the tiny house. Ooh, how about that? How about? All right, guys, the live is over and it is dark. As you can see, it is about nine o'clock right now and we are going to keep on keeping on like we've been doing in the last couple of videos, trying to push to get this thing done. I'm about to clear everything out of here and bring in the mop bucket and we're gonna stop start mopping this floor and see how bad it is and see if I need to put another coat of paint on here or if I can save it. Wish me luck guys. Wish me luck. We're gonna start with just plain water, guys. And then as we get closer to where it's to the paint, I'll start adding some cleaner. Definitely a huge transformation. We got a couple of bad spots right there. Still got a few over there and a couple of right here and one right there. But I got the rag on that one. I'm about to put the rag on these two. And I'm gonna see if it gets it up. I'll get my little putty knife. Just kind of lightly scrape on top of the rag. See if I can get that to pull up. Then I'm gonna finish getting this section right here and then i'm going to go outside clean the water out get some fresh clean water and then go over it again all right guys i've been busy i ain't had the camera on but i've mopped this twice and i've got all the big chunks up that trick that the subscriber told me about putting the wet rag on there for a minute and then just be able to wipe it up scrape it up turned out real good it's working i did go ahead and clear out the whole bathroom Get everything out of there that don't need to belong in there so for the cleaner i'm going to use and my water and i've already cleaned by hand around the toilet and cleaned off the toilet it was filthy too with a bunch of drywall stuff all over it and it's starting to dry as you can see it is drying a little bit lighter and it is a little bit lighter of a brown it's not really this dark so it will be a lighter color brown but there's still a lot of this uh, drywall mixed in there. That's why it's as light as it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and mop this twice, get all the big splotches up. And then I'm probably just gonna let it dry overnight. And then whenever I'm done installing all of the trim in here, I will give it one last final good clean mop. Then it'll be ready to move in. I'm gonna be tracking in and out tomorrow anyways. So there's no need to get too crazy with it tonight. And I'm getting tired guys. This is about four nights in a row. I've worked day and night. So I wanna get this cleaned up so I got a nice clean floor to be able to take a shower tonight and get some sleep because we got a busy day tomorrow. All right guys, now that we got the trailer and everything down there with the shed that I gotta take down, which starts tomorrow, we're going to start working on the bedroom area of the trim. I'm not really concerned right now with trying to get all of it done. The main thing I'm worried about right now is the bed area because why I got help here for the next few days, I'm actually going to get uh, Gary and Anthony 
and Mike to help me move the bed into the tiny house and I'm gonna go ahead and start staying in there. So as long as I got the trim around the bed area that that's gonna go, I can end up uh, doing the rest of the trim and stuff later on. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. Let's get the wood inside and get started. Now, one of the first things that we're going to have to do is I need had a rock in my boot. Uh, one of the first things that we're going to need to do, I need to seal this base plate. So I'm going to take silicone and put a nice bead of silicone all the way down there before we put that. That's just to help with moisture, uh, little insects, anything like that that tries to get in. And if you're going to do it, now is the time to do it. Let's put our first piece in. Well, there we have it, guys. The first section around the bed area is done. I had a little hump in the floor right here I had to get a little creative with, but it turned out okay. I got everything cocked. The ends right here where I had to do a cut because I didn't want to mess up the polyurethane that I already put on there. I'm going to get one of those little hand torches that shoots the flame about that big and come in here and just kind of burn it and kind of detail it and then polyure touch it up with polyurethane. But it turned out pretty good. Now we're going to make our way to doing the top run. It's going to be a little bit trickier on this. This wall right here should be straight and this one right here should be straight. I'm actually going to stop it right here because I'm going to need to do something in this corner right here where you got the elevation drop. I ain't quite figured out what I'm going to do there yet, but we'll see. This one right here is going to have a couple of angle cuts because the roof does slope down. But then this should be framed out and we'll be ready to put a bed in there. I will end up having to build the shelving that's gonna go in here and hide all of this. I'm thinking about doing a floating shelf that has slits in the top and put LED lights in there that way to illuminate the ceiling, whatever color that I want it to be at the time. But that's a future project. That's gonna take a little bit more time and I don't really have time to get that done today. And that is also something that I can kind of build outside and then put in place and attach to the wall. All right, let's go ahead and get our measurements for this piece and that piece, and we'll get them up on the wall and go from there. All right, guys, I've been having trouble with my camera battery, so I've just been getting it. But check this out, guys. I basically got from this corner, I still got to put the corner pieces in that piece, but I got all of that all the way around, around that to there. 
Looks pretty good, guys. Looks pretty good. Now we're about to put this piece on and then we'll put the two corner pieces in. As you can see right here, I split these in half. This ain't as wide as it is right here because the inside corners, I wanted to kind of give it more of a petite fill. So I cut it down the middle, but I cut one side a half inch bigger than the other. So one can stick all the way in, the other one can butt up against it and it gives it a nice uniform look. All right guys, let's keep trucking. Hopefully my battery stop will stop giving me problems. All right, guys, we got the bed moved. This was the area that the bed was in. Now it is gone, guys. And now the next thing that's gonna go in the tiny house is all of this, my computer area. It is a disaster right now from us moving everything to move the bed. But we're gonna start off with the heaviest thing first because I'm getting tired guys everybody just left and i am still going and i am tired i'm ready to get this done so i can enjoy the tiny house and take a little break but i do have a dolly that i'm going to use because these are extremely extremely heavy we're going to get this in there then we're going to get this in there and then get that in there we're going to work our way down the line i think that's going to be the smart move I'm going to pull a couple of measurements before I get it out there, before I'm scooting it around everywhere. That way I know exactly where I want everything, but we're going to get it done. So let's get to work. Fuck it. 
heavy. All right, guys, well, I got all of the heavy stuff that I needed to get out there. I still need to take my monitors out there. But I'm going to grab some stuff to do some cleaning. All of this stuff is real, real dusty here in the cabin because it's impossible to control the dust in here because of all of the leaks in the cabin. Hence, one of the reasons why I'm moving out into the tiny house. So I'm going to grab some cleaning supplies. We're going to clean off everything in there. Go ahead and organized all the big furniture that's going in there where it needs to go and then we're going to put all this back together in an organized fashion because i gotta edit tonight guys so i need to get my life back in order so i can get a video to you guys <sighs> all right guys let's get after it all right guys let me show you it's a little crowded in here right now i got the drawers got the two end tables and the desk i need to put on the covers for the plugs before I start putting this together so I don't end up putting something in the way so we're going to do that now and then we're going to start cleaning everything putting it together and see how much space I got here in this tiny house all right guys it's been a couple of days whenever I was moving into the tiny house I was having extreme camera issues but I wanted y'all to see the final product I still got a lot of work to do into the bathroom and I still have a little bit of trim that I need to do in the actual bedroom area of the tiny house but I made a lot of progress and I want to share it with you guys it turned out absolutely amazing guys check this out so there you got the bed area with all of the trim I got the end tables in here that one fit there perfectly at the end and it looks really 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 good I actually did a live and kind of showed this part right here and a lot of people said that my headboard was crooked this roof right here does slope so that's why you have it but as you can see I got the speakers up in the corner I got the surround sound done I actually took my picture of George there and hid the electrical panel right there I still have to do some work in this area right here to trim out all of this I ran out of wood guys and I still have to do this little corner here and a little piece right there. But then this area right here will be done. I also bought some stuff for the closet. I'm going to build some custom shelves in there and have a two-tier system in the closet there. And I also got some wider 1x4s to wrap this corner right here as well to kind of make it match. And of course I still got to do the floating shelf there. To fix the problem with the air conditioner sticking out too far but it turned out amazing guys here let me there you go it's a tight space and then on this side I've got all of my computer stuff hooked up I got my other desk right there that fit really good there I got my computer set up I got my TV hung it turned out good and the floors turned out to be pretty good too guys I didn't have to repaint them I did end up going and hang some curtains up in between the bathroom in here just for a little privacy just in case anybody needs to use the bathroom from the outside I will end up putting a, uh, a garage door I will end up putting a barn door sliding system here so when it's shut it'll shut the bathroom off but when it's open it actually close the closet off a dual purpose type thing but I am very very happy with the way that it turned out now that I changed the the view on there a little bit 
and kind of give y'all a little bit better perspective of what it looks like. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I did get some stuff right here, like some corner trim and stuff that will kind of frame out this door and frame up that area right there a little bit. But it's been a long journey to get to this point, guys, and I could not be happier with the way that it has turned out. This is gonna be a much more comfortable space for me for the winter. It's gonna definitely be a win-win in my opinion. And it's about 102 degrees outside right now, and we're 72 in the tiny house. Now that's a win if nothing else is a win. Let me in the, know in the comments, guys, of what y'all think and how it turned out. Like I said, it's not completely done yet, but I had to push very, very hard to kind of get ready for the bed here to get put in. Why I had help here on the mountain taking down that 20 by 20 shot. That's also why these videos kind of came out like two weeks later. I already had them filmed, but... uh I didn't have time to edit and I needed to get the shop videos out that way everybody else could put their content out as well but I am happy guys I'm happy with the way that it turned out uh, so if you have not liked subscribed and hit the notification bell definitely do so we still got a lot of work to do here we still got a lot to do outside I still got to put the vanity in, hook the dryer washer up, and all of the trim in the bathroom. So there's a lot of projects there. And plus do all the touch-up stuff around here, like seal around the door behind me and get the rest of the trim up. But all I got to do, kind of slide that out and do that piece right there. Right there is completely out of the way. And I was ready to get in here, guys. But I love every single one of y'all. Make sure that you go over to Come On Keeping It Real because some of this stuff has already been shown on there because that's my day-to-day -day vlog and they're kind of up to date. These edited videos take a little bit longer to get out. But as I always say, guys, come on. <laughs> Let's go on another adventure.